Hey guys, so we are already a few days into our trip and just remembered that we haven't actually done an intro for this video. So hello, I'm Chanel. Ta-da! <laughs> this is Steve and that's the Badger, which you may know from our channel already. And yes, yeah, so we have just come from an amazing trip in Satara, five days of camping. If you haven't seen that video already, you can check it out, one of the corners. And now we're going to be doing five nights at Loasabi. We made our way down the H13 heading south. And we're lucky enough to spot this lioness just before she disappeared into the long grass. 40 kilometers out from Loasabi, we made a quick pit stop at the Chokwane picnic site and stocked up on some snacks. Doing that. Just getting the uh, window the ready and we've just borrowed some white paint <laughs> from these lovely birders over here and we're going to be joining the birding party. <laughs> this is awesome. Um, There we go. Just in case anyone was wondering what we were doing um, <laughs> and why we were stopping every five minutes, it's because we're into birding. So great idea here from these guys. We then made our way and it wasn't long before we arrived at Loasabi camp. So we just arrived at Loasabi and pretty full camp. And we did find a really nice campsite, but the reason no one's in here is because it's a marula tree. What does that mean, Steve? That means you could get hit by a hard marula fruit mm -hmm. at any stage. Right. And even now, even we're now. currently so at risk. I'm trying to clear them so we can set up a camp. Okay, and we've decided to use our ground sheet as yes. a tarpaulin. Yeah. To so we're hopefully shift the tarpaulin to, you know. Uh, decrease the risk of injury from Marula. Oh, okay. One just landed very close to my head. Oh, oh. they've offered us a rake. Wonderful. Don't need to kick it anymore. Okay, Steve, a lot has happened in the last hour. What's happened? So, yes, the tarpaulin is up. It's very makeshift, but I think it's going to work and it's going to keep us alive from the Marulas, the sun, and whatever else attacks us from uh, above. This feels like an episode of Survivor. Like, Very look at so. what you have and just kind of make do. And well, the Marulas are still falling down, but we've got the badger here um, acting as a bit of a ladder. We set up, Stevie set up the other corners. And look at that, shade. Marula free shade. Okay, it is looking really good. Very excited to show you what uh, Stevie's doing here. Oh, there's also baboons. There we go. There we go. Just making their way through caravans. Oh boy. Okay, back to the action though. <laughs> there's another, another baboon in the tree. <laughs> yeah, Looking good. Touches. Look at that. The rest of the afternoon we spent at Sunset Dam, which proved to be a better viewing location than we expected. We just arrived at my absolute favorite place around Loasabi, and that is Sunset Dam. Lots happening here. There's always something happening here, and if you like birds like we do, this is the best place to see them. There's so many different species, and like Chanel says, there's always something going on, and it's only a 600 meter drive from the camp, which makes it very special too. And the sunsets are pretty awesome too. The dam is home not only to the feathered species, but also the scaly ones. As the sun began to set, we were blessed to see a whole herd of elephant walk by. Yes, another early morning. Yeah, we're doing it. This is why you come to Kruger, to get up really early. Yeah, the sun. This is the best time. The sun is just about to come up and we better get going. Yeah. 
scenes like this made getting up early worthwhile. Hiding, but that encounter with the elephant family definitely made it worth it. Then, as the heat of the day began to rise, we made our way back to camp and spotted this African fish eagle looking for its next meal. So, we have a campsite update. We woke up this morning and a lot of the people had left. Today's a Monday morning and we looked over and saw this beautiful campsite here, fully shaded, a lot flatter and with a tree that doesn't try kill us every two minutes. So that's us and we're going to be here then for the next few days. That afternoon, we made our way back to Sunset Dam, where we witnessed two massive male hippos fighting it out for territory of the dam. He won. One of the best parts of Lower Sabi Camp is a viewing deck overlooking the Sabi River. And then this scene appeared, a mother and a calf crossing the river at last light. It has just gone 5.45, yes, yes, and we are off on a morning drive to Crocodile Bridge Camp, so let's see if we can spot anything. Are you awake? Who's I'm driving? I'm feeling pretty good, you're driving, Right. but I'm feeling pretty good. Okay, how was the evening? Lots of rain. Lots of rain, but I feel like I slept for three weeks, so okay. I'm, I'm ready to do things do again. Then. Yeah, especially you see that hyena that we just heard. So. We always love watching the bush come to life as the sun rises. One of the benefits of visiting the park at this time of year is seeing all the baby animals. We were also fascinated to see these young giraffes necking, which helps them prepare for fights when they grow up. One of the last sightings of our trip was a brief one. We saw a small pack of wild dogs digging in the sand some distance from the road, but it was still a special sighting. Our time in Los Sabi is done, and we've had our fair share of camping. Say that again, yeah. <laughs> We've had the hottest weather I think I've experienced in a long time and we had a bit of rain. So Kruger delivered on, on all the things <laughs> once again and 
You've, like you said in the previous video. We are in Kruger and it is my first time in Kruger. I'm very excited. Can you um, believe that? No, I actually, a lot of people are very surprised by this. You've been to, along with me, the Serengeti. Yes. You've been to Itosha. Yes. You've been to the Masai Mara for work. How would you rate Kruger in all of that? Well, I think the one thing that's been so different about Kruger is it's been self-driven. Mm. And that changes the mm. experience completely because you're not with a trained professional. I mean, I love you, but you're not a trained ranger. I try to consider myself um. as a trained professional. <laughs> but they will take you to the spots. They have their community. They have their little walkie-talkies mm. and they're always chatting on the radio. So you're, you're guaranteed... You're talking about almost, uh, rangers and stuff. The rangers, exactly. You're almost guaranteed... Uh, a good sighting mm. on any drive and that's what you're paying for and that's what you're paying for and of course you get that in Kruger as well there's the there are drives available but for us and our experience we chose to do it all in the Badger without a Ranger and it was awesome it was almost it was very different right because you're like you like I said we're not mm. guaranteed a sighting so any day you're just out there looking and really just playing game of where's Wally yeah but it was, yeah, in that, in that regard, it was amazing. And in terms of other comparisons... And the wildlife viewing think. you were happy with. I mean, you saw a lot. And I think this is the first time that you've been actively searching for birds. And we yes. saw how many new species? Oh, you caught me off guard here. Around 60. Even more. Close 60, to 70, Close to actually. 70 new species new for us. New species of birds. And... That in itself, I think, says a lot about birding in the Kruger, especially yeah. in uh, the rainy season. Okay, now I have a question for you. Yes. What is your top highlight from our Lower Sabi trip? Hmm. It's tough to say. Uh, there were a lot of great experiences. Sunset Dam for me is, <laughs> I love it so much. There's just always something happening. But I'd have to say the elephants at sunset walking down the Sabi River and we just got to enjoy them. And uh, I love watching elephants, so I think that was my highlight. Nice. <laughs> cool, so up next, what's up next for us? Well, we are making our way back to our hometown, Johannesburg, mm -hmm. and we're putting the badger on a shipping container. And then we will see him at our next destination. So, well, and we're not going to tell you where that is just yet, <laughs> so follow along, but yeah, badger's coming the, with. the badger's coming with, <laughs> it's going to be put on a ship. Cool, so thanks for watching, please subscribe if you haven't already, and we hope you enjoyed our Kruger experience, we hope you guys get to go sometime too. <laughs>